Hey, what's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. Curry stew pork. You're gonna love this one, man. Stay tuned. But before we jump onto the actual recipe, I am using pork tenderloin. And you're probably wondering why I use such an expensive cut of meat. It was on sale. And two, it makes cooking faster. We're gonna cue it up into nice small pieces. Curry stew or dogla chicken. Oh, chicken, what? Pork. Check the video, man. <laughs> now, I'm using pork tenderloin, as I said. Um, but you can use any piece of pork, basically. Um, just you'll need to adjust the cooking time. So what I'm gonna do is cut down the center. And I want a nice cube, so I may cut this again down the center again. And then all you would do is seen me done the sort of seasoning that we do with all our meats and seafood and stuff like that before this is just typically this is just typically the way we season things in the Caribbean so I have the pork here it's been washed with cool water and the juice of a lemon you can use lime you can use some vinegar totally up to you rinse it all after I'm going in with some salt black pepper and that's it, we're done. <laughs> oh my fooling Caribbean people, salt and black pepper. Can't get the alright. Number one, we need some scallions up in there. Don't wanna jump in there, buddy. Don't be bashful tonight. We've got some tomato and all the ingredients. <laughs> salt and pepper. <laughs> oh Jesus Chris, you too funny, yes, some onions. All the ingredients I use here today will be listed down in the description of the video. And the video itself, will, I mean the recipe itself, will, I'm still laughing at the salt and black pepper, will be available on CaribbeanPod.com sooner or later. Let me bring it closer for you guys to have a nice, I bet a little, you know, let's zoom in, man. We pay for that feature in the camera. Let's use it. Grated ginger. Time to get busy here, Chris. Stop on my guy and the people with Chip it talk. Give him a nice dose of ginger. And you know, any opportunity to use two things, scotch bonnet pepper, and that's a whole one with the seeds and everything. If you cannot handle the heat, please don't use as much, or you can leave it out totally up to you. We've got that Caribbean green seasoning, curry stew, so we can't be without a nice curry powder. And all I'm going to do now is give that a good mix and then we're going to allow the, did I just kick the camera? We're going to allow that to marinate for at least a couple hours. So I got my nice big heavy iron pot here on a high heat, one and a half tablespoons of olive oil. I like using olive oil. The smoke point, yeah, we know all about that. If you want to use vegetable oil, you can do that. And one and a half tablespoon of golden brown sugar. Here I have the seasoned pork. Remember, try to marinate it for a couple hours because I'm doing the video, because I'm hungry, I'm cooking it right away, but you get much better results from that. And you would have seen me do this quite a few recipes. Anything to do with the sort of browning or stewing method in the Caribbean, I always do this. So we start off with that sugar, high heat on that oil. It will become smoky, as I said. Um, it will melt, it will go frothy, and then amber in color. Keep whatever it is that you're stewing, whether it's beef, it's pork, it's fish. Um, just keep it handy. And the same dish, I've done the the chicken version of this, so if no pork on your fork and you want to rock the chicken, I mean they say, you do your thing, and 
We're just gonna keep moving it around. The reason why I move it around is because I know there are hot spots on my stove here, as you can see. So I'm just gonna move that a bit. And as soon as it becomes that sort of amber color, that's when we're gonna immediately add the seasoned pork to it. So keep the pork, the fish, whatever it is that you're stirring, close at hand, all right? So we got that beautiful color there now. Give one little scoop. And then we're gonna add the pieces of pork and start moving it around to start picking up all that niceness on the bottom of the pot. After about three minutes on that high heat, it will come up to a boil. So what we're gonna do now, but before we do that, you want two and a half cups of water in that same bowl there, swish it around. We wanna hang on to that, that is flavor. We're not trying to leave any flavor soldiers behind. Everybody, you know, everybody going home. Turn your heat down, lay it on, and let that go for about 10 minutes. It's been going now for about 10 minutes, as I said. <clears throat> earlier so what we want to do is give it another stir I've stirred it two times already and here is where we're gonna influence the taste and the color later on so what we need to do crank up your heat to high we're gonna burn off all that liquid now I didn't add any water to this if you're wondering that is just liquid that the pork itself sprouted so you want to burn that off infuse it with flavor and develop that lovely color that we're looking for it's been about six minutes since I cranked up the heat to burn off all the liquid. And that is what we've achieved now. But I'm just gonna let it go just a little bit more. I want another caramelization to happen at the bottom of the pot there. We're there now, folks. So all we wanna do is give that one more mix. And notice that lovely color we got there. Mm. In goes that water. We're gonna bring that back up to a boil, lid on, and let that gently simmer until it's fork tender. I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not, but I have the, I had the lid on there, but slightly ajar, so there's a, a space between there for the steam to vent. It's been going now for 40, 40 minutes on this sort of simmer here. There are one, two, three ways we're gonna personalize this one. We're gonna taste it for salt and adjust it accordingly. Two, we have the option of cooking it down all the way or saving gravy. And three, if you are saving gravy, you can adjust the sort of consistency of the gravy that you like. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna crank up the heat a bit because this, according to my mommy, too watery, son, it's too watery yet. So it's too watery right now. Make sure it's nice and tender though. So I'm gonna, I turn up the heat, I'm gonna burn up some of that liquid. And if you're wondering what I'm having this with, I'm gonna make some rice later, but over, let's see if we can do this. Over there, we've got some yellow split peas dal. Nice and silky, look how velvety that thing is there. Oy, 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 mm, 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 mm. You got that garlic and cumin and everything in there, boy, oh boy. So my gravy is the consistency that I like. I know the residual heat is gonna continue thicken it up some more, so I'm gonna turn off my heat and I'm gonna go in with some more. You gotta add that green. We've got some scallion there, heat off. The residual heat will do its thing. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you all here in the kitchen with me. Yo, that green onion there, or scallion, or spring onion that in the end there, that's gonna add a lovely little finishing note. Trust me on that, don't sleep on that one. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. We did curry stew, pork, ganges, meat denial. Yo, it is just an awesome dish for you to try. Now remember I said I used um, pork tenderloin. You can use just about any cut of pork for this. All you need to do is adjust the cooking time. That's all. Irie? Irie. What's up soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click.